So again, frame. Okay, frame. Uh, yeah, family. Okay, I will use the same notations. It's a family of an um, elements. in a Hilbert space of a Hilbert space is called frames when there exist positive constant A and B such that and this is very simple definition, but uh, I think it is very important to understand um, the, the, the concept behind the frames. So I will first go with the definition. A family of elements of a Hilbert space is called a frame of a frame for the Hilbert space. Um, when there exists a positive constant A and B such that, right, so A Does not equal to summation, so I should say Z whole square so A is called A is a lower bound, um, B is the upper bound. And uh, so basically what we're saying is that uh, the frame uh, psi i is bounded between A and B, right? When, when A is equal to uh, B, then it is called a tight frame. And then when, uh, when A is equal to B, it is called tight frame. When A is equal to B is equal to 1, then it becomes a, a parsival identity. So it's called a parsival frames. Um, so the reason why we have to talk about the frame is that uh, in some some of the practical applications um, the orthogonal basis is very difficult to accomplish uh, so if you're talking about financial engineering and if you're talking about pool of da uh, financial data for securitiz securitization it is very difficult to come up with the orthogonal basis uh, there, uh, there is a lot of noises in the data so it is better to go with the concept like frames because it, it accommodates uh, it accommodates uh, the noise of the data. Um, so for, for example, um, so let us say E1, E2, so EN are orthonormal basis. Um, so the frame could be E1, E1, then EN. So if you look, look very closely, E1 is repeated twice. Uh, so this is an example of a frame and uh, the other example would be uh, 0, E1, up to En. So this is another example of a frame. Uh, so even if I take very specifically, let's say uh, E1 and E2 are uh, orthogonal basis of R2, um, Psi1 is equal to E1, Psi2 is equal to say minus half E1 plus root 3 by 2 E2, then psi 3 is equal to mi minus half e1 minus root 3 by 2 e2 so this psi 1 psi 2 psi 3 these three are um, frames which represents uh, a data and this may not be linearly this may not be linearly uh, independent um, but uh, it, it represents the entire space of the data so the the frame operator so the frame operator um, so let us say S is a frame operator uh, so it maps from Hilbert space to Hilbert space Right, so let us say yes, x is equal to. So I'll just 
just say belongs to Z um, X psi I X so this is uh, uh, S is an operator uh, frame operator operates on X and basically gives this um, uh, the right right hand side so you, so for the reconstruction purposes you know you take the s on other side for representation purposes uh, you have s is equal to So uh, like, it is not uh, very straightforward to get the uh, S inverse um, uh, because uh, you know this is not uh, 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 this is not a unitary matrix or the, or the operators are not unitary uh, matrix, which means that uh, uh, a, a, uh, like uh, let's say A is a unitary matrix, then the A transpose is equal to A inverse, but that is not the case when the vectors are not orthonormal. So when, when it comes to frames, um, it is not uh, very straightforward to get the uh, reconstruction. Uh, so there are some challenges of it, uh, challenges uh, to get the uh, reconstruction. Uh, so we will uh, have a further uh, lecture series to talk about the frame operator. Thank you.